evaluate the following definite integral we have definite integral from 1 through 4 with respect to x of x times 1 minus 1 over root x so basically we got a product of two functions there is no product rule so first we need to get rid of this product for we just distribute so this is same as 1 through 4 x times 1 is x minus x times 1 over root x look at here 1 over root x is same as 1 over x raised to 1 half x raised to 1 half on the bottom and we can pull that on the top x raised to negative 1 half or at the same time we also know that root x so when we multiply x and 1 over root x this x is same as root x times root x okay so that goes on the top and 1 over root x and we can cancel root x root x just survives root x on the top and that's the x raised to 1 half or you can simplify in this way x times x times 1 over root x so 1 over root x means x raised to 1 half move this to the top that becomes x raised to negative 1 half here is 1 so this will be then x x same base x 1 1 half on the top 1 minus 1 half that's 1 minus 1 half is 1 half in any case we have x raised to 1 half okay so x minus when we multiply these two we get x raised to one half on the this on the top there is no bottom dx now we got two terms we can integrate term by term antiderivative of x is x there is one nothing means one one plus one two over two same thing always two divided by two minus x n so x n plus one one half plus one is three halves divided by three halves plus c is not needed because we are working on definite integral and we need to evaluate this antiderivative from one through four okay uh, this three halves when we because this is a complex fraction this three halves when we move to the front it becomes two thirds it flips this fraction flips and becomes two thirds okay we'll do that at the same time we want to evaluate this function at upper limit 4 that goes here minus evaluate this at the lower limit 1 so let's replace x by 4 4 is square that's 16 divided by 2 8 minus this flips so 3 halves becomes 2 thirds times 4 raised to 3 halves because we are replacing x by 4 so 4 raised to 3 halves what is that 4 raised to 3 halves use your calculator or you can simplify and this is gonna be this is 2 squared square square cancel 2 cube that's 8 so it's gonna be 8 okay 2 thirds times 8 that's the upper limit part minus now replace x by 1 so 1 is square 1 over 2 minus this flips 2 thirds times 1 raised to 3 halves so 1 raised to positive power is always 1 now we want to simplify and we get the final answer so 8 minus 2 thirds of 8 3 8 no cancellation so 8 times 2 16 that's on the top 16 thirds minus here is 1 half minus 2 thirds okay 1 half minus 2 thirds so we need to combine these two fractions these two fractions and again subtract okay in this case uh, we have 16 thirds is 2 thirds maybe we can combine later so let's distribute this negative you can combine this inside now a couple of different ways I would distribute negative 1 so negative 1 half negative negative positive 2 thirds here and negative 16 thirds plus 2 thirds okay negative 16 thirds we, we don't need this parenthesis anymore because there is nothing to distribute from the front 
So negative 16 thirds plus 2 thirds, 3, 3, 3, negative 16 plus 2, negative 14 thirds, 8 minus 1 half. So 8 minus 1 half. So 7 and 1 half. 7 and 1 half means 15 halves. Now we need to combine these two fractions as well to get the final answer. So 2, 3, 6 is the common denominator. 2 divides 6 3 times. So 3 times 15, 45. 3 divides twice. So 28. And this will be then uh, 45 minus 28, 17 over 6. Okay, that's the final answer.